Two hours and twelve minutes. Holy fucking shit. The concern stayed with me as I slowly succumbed to sleep. At least I'm a witness to the so-called death wish that these two have placed down to themselves. If fate does exist, does that mean your future is decided the moment you are born? If all your yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? I just don't know! I'm still alive because I don't know! That's why I desperately cling to life! Okay. This can't be good. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and get ready to... Alright. He's not saying anything about a murder just yet. I hope Mondo and Taka survived. This should be interesting. Worried about the two, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual. And when I entered... <laughs> well, they're still alive, so that's good. Bahaha! What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? What the? Yo. Hey, Makoto. <laughs> Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Huh? Are they friends now? <sighs> They've been like this for all morning. They were all buddy buddy as soon as they walked in. It feels gross. What? Feels gross? Hell no. Feels great. More like it. This almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. <laughs> Forget her, bro. Um, a girl like her doesn't know get our manly bond. Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman could never understand. What if that woman was a man? Shut up! Ain't that right? What you just said, bro. That was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. Without a doubt. No, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given that you by your loving parents. So, um, who won the contest? Piece of shit! Who gives a shit?! <laughs> Got it. Yeah! Don't ask stupid questions! What matters is that we both took part in it together! <laughs> That's completely different from what you were last night, saying last night. I see. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. <sighs> yeah, for real. This has been an interesting, uh, session. Definitely. When do we get to the murder already? I'm kind of looking forward to that, honestly, to see what's up. All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. All in all, I was a, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. But hey, whatever. <laughs> free day, free time, I guess. Um, yeah. Ding dong, who could that be? Wondering who had come to visit. I opened the door, and someone forced her way in. Who are you? What the fuck do you want? Got... Toko, what's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so surprised? Am I really that- Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> well, I already know I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so it makes it uh, okay. Alright. Makoto, just agree to her already. <laughs> Oh, a favor from me, huh? I want you to g go somewhere with me. <laughs> and where is it you want to go? Well... Okay... Huh. Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just- yeah! Spend time with him or something. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? You're not a b b blabbermouth, right? This is, has to be a secret. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want to keep it quiet, I'll be quiet. <laughs> Do I have a choice in this? Jesus, I have no choice in this. God fucking damn it, I'm forced to hang out with this bitch. Go quiet. Be quiet when you g go in. Don't let him see you. Oh my god, really? She actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what I said. She said and gently crept into the library. <sighs> Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. He's here! <laughs> He's really here! Okay, Makoto, go talk to him! 
Why do I have to do this shit? I'm but I'm gonna bother him. What? Stop being so loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. Uh, you know, I kind of want to interrupt him since day one. So you know what? Fuck it, Toko. I'll go for it. That's kind of crazy. Yo! Byakuya! We got something to say. So, uh, you guys know Hitomi Tanaka? Pfft, no, no. Alright. He seems to be really focused on that book. It doesn't seem like he's the best time to talk. Hey, you. What are you doing back there? I hate even having to look at you. Ah, so you noticed me, huh? Of course. And hurry up. Now hurry up and leave. And take her with you. I'll let you two have your own conversation. Remember how you said, "Don't be a woman who dominates. W don't be a woman who dominates weak men. Be a woman dominated by a strong man." Hmm. I never said that. Okay. Well, actually, I just thought it was sounding like something you might say. Get out. <laughs> hey, go take a bath. You smell. Don't make me repeat myself. You know, this would be counting as murder if we suffocated with your stench, right? We could do that, right? Can we? We just leave you to. Well, that was a waste of fucking time. Uh, he really dug into us then. Well, hit you specifically, not nothing about me, so maybe he's in a damn bad mood. She seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? Byakuya? To go that far? <laughs> You're making it worse for yourself, Toko! Uh, do you really want to... Uh, I'll press sex. Huh? He, he told me to take a bath and everything. He must really care about my... I'm done! Oh no, what do you think? Uh, what the fuck? Why is it on auto? How do I fucking... How do I stop being on auto mode? There we go, fuck. You two would be a fucking fantastic couple! Wouldn't you agree for... What the... Two shitheads! Working together, loving each other, and all that shit. God fucking damn it, Toko. This is the exact reason why I fucking hate you to begin with. Uh, do you think Byakuya would be good together? Well, now, I don't really know. Maybe. That's true. There's really n no way to n know. But the distance between us doesn't change our love. Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how love works. There might be a day when you understand, maybe someday. Well, bye. Why am I dragged into everyone's fucking conversation? I do not care about your well-being, Toko. If you have a crush on Byakuya, then go ahead and ask him out or something. If he rejects you, then okay, let bygones be bygones, whatever. Why are you dragging me into this? <laughs> and what the fuck do you want? Why are you always surprised? Uh, who would have guessed she would go for someone like him? You know, I'm honestly not surprised. I think they make a fantastic couple, alright? If they have to kill each other, then go ahead. Uh, if only I had any say in this. Good god, Makoto, you blank piece of shit. Oh, come on. I'm gonna waste my day like that? Really? Uh... Well, that's for damn sure. I'm never hanging out with Toka whatsoever. Thank God. Okay, so that's one down out of nine competitors, I guess. Eight if Byakuya still continues this fucking trend. Let me guess. He's in the library? Figures. Okay, you know what? I, 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 I give up with Byakuya. Ugh. Anyways, um. Hallway. Actually, I don't know who I should ping out with right now. 
Should I go with someone I know or someone uh, I might want to be with? Well, actually, no, we haven't been with uh, Chihiro yet. Or a Mondo or that guy or Hifumi. God damn, there's so many options I could go with. Except for Telco, fuck her. Is that Mondo there? No, Aoi and Sakura. Should be interesting to hang out with Sakura. I mean, she's also a friend of uh, Aoi. And if I want to get into her panties, then... I don't know, maybe some tips can... Tricks could help me out as well, maybe? Oh, who knows? Uh, where's the laundry? Is it here? So hanging out with Sakura might not be a bad idea, so... Let's see what she's... Well, that, but maybe she could teach me some kung fu moves or something. Who knows? Uh, you look like an ice cream cone, Aoi. <laughs> Just point that out. Sorry if I insulted you that. Makoto, I... Hmm. Actually, never mind. So, what did you want? Well, uh, let's spend some time with... Well, okay. Well, no, Makoto. You seem a little thin for a man. How about I help you buck up a little? Why not? Sakura subjected to me to a harsh borderline cruel training session. Hey, at least I'm getting the muscles, right? Sakura and I grew a little closer together. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's gonna like the, uh... Some sort of sports equipment or something, right? No. Maybe some ramen? Oh, no. <laughs> Not the love-seeking thing. What is this? Nah. No, she wouldn't like it. Maybe she'd like be wants to endure the day of the light thing? Who knows? Hang on. Antique doll? I don't, I don't know if Sakura would like that. What's a pink and dinner? Oh shit, oops! Well, you didn't need to go through all that trouble for me. Well, oops. Well, so much. Well, goodbye, pig and dinner. Hmm. My post training break has been the most relaxing time of my day. The sensation of your muscles cooling down after heating up during a workout is. Yeah, okay. No matter how many times I experience it, I never get tired of it. Hmm. Unless, there's, unless there's an errand that I absolutely can't get out of. Yes, I. Okay, blah, blah. Makes you can do it every single day. Doesn't that get tough? Well, she built up those muscles. I'm pretty sure it just comes in naturally for her. So, I have to keep going because my destiny is fine. Mm. <laughs> That's one heck of a legend. Well, the master. As a child, I spent boxing champions. Of course, they were no match for me. I started beating people up like that. Mm. I'd say my specialty is a blah 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 special. Oh, hold on, wait, hold on. Oh shit, I stupid trivia. Okay, um, stand up fighting, grappling, and strong pounded game. Uh, does that mix martial arts? Do you grapple in that? I don't know what the fuck any of these things are. Oh, it's just a mixed martial arts. You're basically a mixed martial arts fighter, right? Of course. That's right. It's the most effective real-world fighting style, which is why I choose it. I don't want to be just the best in the competitor. I want to be the strongest human on Earth. That one... I wouldn't bet against you, that's for sure. But aren't you already the best? Well. Now, not yet. There's still someone I have to surpass. Huh. Who's that? Until I can beat him, I'll never become the strongest. You mean there's someone out there stronger than you? Maybe I'll tell you that next time, if the opportunity presents itself. Alright. <laughs> Can they really be human is the question. Skill points. I'm also getting a lot of skill points from random people and there was that one guy who I got like a interesting uh result, uh an interesting um skill set. The surfer dude. Is that really it? Should that be the uh, part of the segment? Is there gonna be any more uh, funny specialties later on? Nighttime is quickly approaching. But before it arrives, all students, please gather in the gym immediately. Which one? The first floor or the second floor? Emergency! Emergency! Oh boy. Gather in the gym? Why now all of a sudden? I have a feeling that's going to be a terrible feeling too. Which was why we'll be right back in the next episode of Danganronpa. Stay tuned for that. Alright, to the gym we go, I guess. This should be, uh...
Oh, Kyoko, did you hear the Can announcement just yet? Yes. I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice to earn. Right. I can't imagine if going there if it's going to be good news, but it's not a good idea to defy him right now. So I'm gonna go on ahead. Alright. Alright, is there anyone else that's gonna talk about it as well? No one here, so Kyogiri is the only one that uh, he is uh, present at that time. All right, so where's the gym again? Uh, oh, hey, Mondo, what's up? Yo. Hey, man, you about to head in? Yeah. Uh, has everyone already gone ahead? Shit. Looks that way. I don't like it, but nothing good's gonna come out of ignoring that goddamn bear. Are you sure you're okay? You kind of went all out in that sauna. What? Huh? Who went all out? That shit doesn't even phase me. No. But you know, <laughs> there is a good edge in hell. I promise. Between men was waiting. Okay. Yo. Anyways, I'm gonna get my. Let's get our asses into the gym. Is anyone else here, or is that just? I'm gonna assume everyone else is already at the gym. <laughs> For some reason, Yafumi is just standing there next to the gym. Hey, Hifumi, how come you haven't gone in yet? Why? Why is that? <laughs> Sorry, but we really should go inside. <laughs> no, don't! You can't go! Hmm. That's... okay. I don't feel good about it either, but we just can't ignore this. I suppose... Alright. <sighs> what could lie beyond the doors? Are we missing anyone? Ugh. Excuse me, okay. Hmm. Ask, asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this? What could he possibly want? Indeed, what might await us at this time? <laughs> <laughs> keeps things interesting, that's for certain. Um... How is that funny? Can you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like, how the highest housewife in the... Uh, the you've been heck? watching way too much TV, Hifumi. There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. <laughs> Which of us is actually messed up? Huh? <laughs> Nothing in particular, just admiring that, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here, living in blind denial day after day. Hmm. I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? <laughs> that reminds me. Remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come? Are you just gonna burn into more ru runes, Byakuya? Or is this just part of your plan or something? Just ignore him, guys. He's a troll. Well... That's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange, that's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck! Hmm. On the contrary, the mastermind may be just that powerful to take control even of the police. Could it be? Oh, this might not be related, bud. <laughs> hmm. Nope, gonna say it. It's not like some occult mystery. All right, it's about last night. I was near the, I was near the main hall, just staring off into space. When all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Hmm. A sound that I really don't know what it was. Hmm. What, what kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I really don't know. But if I had to describe it, it, it was like a construction site, I guess. Construction site? Serious. I mean, I could just make up that. I just could just be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. <laughs> uh. Say what? What you talking about, Toko? All right. What? What, what do you have to say? Huh? What is this? All right. What's going on here? All right. What's this announcement thing for? What do you have in stores? What fuckery are you gonna plan? He's arrived? <laughs> what Hero said wasn't the sound of construction. But it could have been an explosion. Huh? <laughs> or maybe a machine gun. Boo-hoo! That, that can kinda sound like construction in a way. W what are you talking about? Ha ha ha! Beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I'm fully puckered. It's a secret. Little secret. And? Fine, let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? What? Don't beat around the old bush, do ya? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? But before that, you mind if I vent a little? 
I'm low on energy these days. Even my stitching's even losing all the shine and luster. I'm thinking that I'm probably becoming this hoo hum boring old everyday life. <laughs> I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something ripe with danger and tree. Alright. Today, I'm feeling black. Next blacken hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored! Um. Okay, more motivation, alright. Motivate? Also, uh, there's apparently, uh, yeah, I'll ignore it. <laughs> there's a phone, whatever. Is there another set of videos or something? Probably is. Are you gonna show us some demented tr thing or try to drive us all into murder? Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say! Just awful! I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore! I don't think about that. Maybe. It's just very big talk. <laughs> Embarrassing memories and secrets! Oh boy. As long as you're alive, it's given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you! So I did a little investigating on my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. Oh boy. Oh Those no! Embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. Whatever, I have nothing to sh I have nothing to be embarrassed about. Like, what, what what's my embarrassing story? I don't fucking know. Now. So take a second to this, I'm very open when it comes to uh, embarrassing moments, so it's not like I give a shit anyways. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. Makoto went. <laughs> really? Is that that's my embarrassing moment? I wet my bed until I was in the fifth grade. Come the fuck on. What? <laughs> yeah, come on. That was not. That was nothing, dude. <laughs> How? How'd you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. You have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then, all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing... Wait, wouldn't that mean we'll be exposed to the world? Go ahead, I don't care. <laughs> because first off, it's the internet age. It's not like people are going to believe that shit anyways. And secondly, even if I did piss myself into the fifth grade, who gives a shit? That's my embarrassing moment. Woohoo, whoopee fucking do. I mean, I'm not... Sh I haven't done that before though, but if I did do that, I wouldn't care. Anyways, uh, maybe a roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped but with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Yeah wouldn't that be so embarrassing? No. At least for me, I don't know about anyone else, so I'm perfectly safe. So that's what you meant by motivation. Well, if that's the case, here's my motivation. Here! I did wet my pants in the fifth grade! How about that? Can I have the option to do that? Come on. Yep, you got it. There are... They're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. Not if you want to reveal that stuff, right? I don't care. It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but... We never kill over something like this. What? What'd you say? Or at least I wouldn't. Count on it. Your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. This is kind of depressing. Is that because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know no matter what, so I assume you all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks! Well, what can you do? Okay, then in 24 hours I'll explode all your secrets just to make yourself feel a little better. Okay. So sad, depressed, fair, not well. <laughs> With an almost convincing look of depression dejects onto his face, Mokuma ever sees into the gym stuff. So, um, I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. Um, I mean, yeah, I have those secrets revealed is gonna be totally embarrassing, but that's seriously not enough to give someone the reason to kill, right? Listen to me. Good news, everyone! I have a brilliant idea! Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right now, right here and now? If we do that, any and all motive to a murder will vanish. I'm pretty smart, right? Quiet down and listen. Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... I don't want to hear your stupid story. What? Besides, I don't... I don't want to talk about it. Okay, whatever. If you don't want to hear... If you don't want to talk about yours, then... Okay, you don't have to talk about yours. I don't care about what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine. Neither do I. Not because it's unpleasant, but because it is impossible. 
Oh? Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, I'll be good for ya. Absolutely not. Come on. Come it's okay, on. just a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Honestly. As I said. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey. I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. Say what? Yeah, you don't. You wouldn't want to piss off Celeste and Fumi, so mind your own damn business. <laughs> I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. <laughs> what do you think, Jahiro? Uh, I'm sorry. Um, Sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but... But I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later? After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So, um... If you don't want to talk about it, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. If everyone's that much against it, <laughs> even if my bro is the one that suggested it, I gotta say no. <laughs> well, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just the few secrets, I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. The secret's so bad you kill someone to keep it. Nobody's gonna... S nobody's got something like that, right? <clears throat> Alright, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but... Each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're gonna die because of it. So, uh, you know, uh, don't do anything hasty. Wow. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. I know it's gonna be tough, but... Uh, well, that was uh, a waste of time. <laughs> Whatever, so I pissed my pants. Who gives a shit? This is a school announcement. It is now at soon, okay? Let's just mm. go to sleep or something. Not time already? Huh? Okay, let's call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety that I couldn't just shake, but we left. Not only that, but it's not like we're gonna know about it, right? I mean, we will know about it, but it's not like we're gonna see people's reactions of it. Plus, they probably wouldn't even get, give a shit anyways. One by one, we headed back into our rooms. Secrets or memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting out didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least that's what I thought. Dun dun dun! But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why... Without too much of a struggle. Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. There's gonna be murder? Murder? Come on. <laughs> but what I didn't know is that even then, a tragedy, a tragedy was taking place.